Welcome to this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap, Celebrity Edition. I'm Nikki Gilday. And I'm guest host Jared Brownrich, and we are here today at the Celebrity Golf Tournament. Yeah, so we both got to interview a number of celebrities, including Ronnie Lott and Steve Nash. We're excited to share those interviews with you. Check them out. So can you tell me a little bit about what this tournament means to you and why you decided to put it together? Well, the tournament means quite a bit. It's a, First of all, we get a chance to um, bring a lot of great Broncos back to uh, campus and, and, uh, and support a great cause in raising money for athletics and, of course, the women's soccer program. Um, we're really excited that we've got Steve Nash here this year. And, uh, you know, uh, I have to thank Stan Jones. Stan uh, is really the person that puts on the tournament. He does all the heavy lifting, and we just show up and enjoy a great day of golf. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Leslie, how do you pick which celebrities uh, you're choosing to invite today? Well, great question. We try to bring back as many Santa Clara alumni as we can. However, last year was such a success getting local celebrities here, people flying up from L.A. This year, because last year was so awesome, we got even more celebrities. So it's really cool. We had people flying in. Dan Jansen is coming from Charlotte. Stuart Holden just flew in from the East Coast last night. So it's really exciting to have everybody from all over the country attend today. Well, thank you. We're very excited to see uh, who we'll find out on the golf course. There he is, the good hustle. Running the floor, Steve Nash. Do you play golf a lot? I don't. I played a little bit as a kid, so I can kind of handle myself, but uh, I almost never play anymore. Okay. So today's a little treat for myself, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. More soccer than golf, huh? Yeah, a little shorter time commitment. <laughs> a little more active. I like to, I like to sweat and, and move. Okay, cool. So, Jerry, you've had a chance to see everyone swing in the competition. Yeah. Who, are, who are you most worried about? I really, you know, I try not to worry about anyone. You know, I just focus in on my game. And the most important thing for me today is to try to really guide my team around this course. This is my home course. So I know where you should hit the ball. You know, I know what, uh, where certain, certain putts uh, should be uh, struck also. So I'm not worried about any of those guys. They can't hang with me. You they know? can't hang no, with you? No, they can't hang with me. So it's just about my team. And Randy, I have a question for you. Uh, what sport did you like playing more in college, baseball or basketball? That, that's tough. I, I, I liked them both. And, you know, I, my, my background, I walked on for both and just really love both sports. And I just love competing. So mm -hmm. I can't pick. Mm -hmm. I can't pick. I come from Chicago, so I'm a big Cubs fan. And I know you had the chance to play for the Cubs and the Cardinals. And we don't like the Cardinals. So <laughs> I was just wondering if you had to choose which team you like being on more, which team would that be? Oh my God! Um, I would choose Chicago because of the city, but I would choose St. Louis because of the winning. <laughs> you know, I can't disagree with you there. Yeah, when it comes to win, I would prefer St. Louis, but city, Chicago is the best. Okay. Yeah, I agree. We have the best city, but hopefully, you know, the Cubs pick up the winning a little bit there. <laughs> And another question I wanted to ask you is, I know your son, Jose, having a great baseball career at Santa Clara right now, a uh, pretty good friend of mine. Uh, is there any advice that you give him since you played baseball before? Keep working hard, and um, you're always going to go through, you know, to bad and good. So I always just try to work him uh, mentally more than physical because I know he has the ability to play. So when he's in this long, I always just tell him that it's more mental than anything. So. Uh, that's, that's the advice that I always give him. He always called me. I said he has him back in. And I try to watch as much as I can to tell him what's mm -hmm. going on. But um, mm -hmm. just uh, it's more mental than anything. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Dwight, I'm pretty sure everyone asked you about the catch. Most famous play maybe in NFL history. Why, thanks. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that, but thanks for saying that. Um, what's your second favorite play? My second favorite? Well, um, I think I would have to go with... Uh, uh, a play that I was fortunate enough to make that uh, was like a one-handed catch about the 12-yard line that, that helped set up uh, a field goal to win a game. And uh, nobody ever really talks about it, but uh, mm -hmm. to me it was one of the best catches I ever made. But uh, uh, it, it really can't compare with 
the drama of the catch, though. So, are you as comfortable on the grass as you are on the ice? <laughs> no, <laughs> never will be. But uh, but I'm getting better. It's fun. I just love to uh, love to play and come out and support the charities. I get great friends out here, um, so it's uh, it's great to be out here. I'm here with Ronnie Lott, JT Snow, and Sean Estes. Um, one question for all of you. Uh, if you could play another professional sport besides the one that you did, what would it be? I like to do what those guys did. They were, I mean, I, I watched both of them when I was growing up. <laughs> when I was growing up, I was watching both of them. I wanted to be like them when I was growing up. JT? I'd be a pro golfer. Pro golfer? Absolutely. All right. How about that? Yeah. So we should so Keep my card be 125 for about 10 <laughs> or 20 years and then go on the senior tour. I mean, look at this. Yeah. So we should be expecting big things today. I don't know about that, but either golfer, I, I would want to do what Steve Nash did, point guard in the NBA. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with what Steve Nash did. I like playing hoops. Those are the two sports I play in high school: basketball, baseball. Basketball is actually my my favorite sport in high school, but uh, I couldn't shoot. <laughs> I couldn't jump, so I knew that was that was done there. But uh, no, I liked it. I liked to like point guard, pass and dish, and let the other guys score. Oh, he took up some turf on that one, guys. Took up some turf on that one. Are there any pointers you can give me since I'm playing right now? Anything you can give me that'll uh, help me get to that next level? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is uh, just the, the the preparation. You know, our level is is a high level of basketball in terms of schemes, coverages, understanding uh, opponents' tendencies. So I think the more you study the game, uh, the easier it is for you to advance, just picking up a, a little trick here and there. I'm here with Stuart Holden. Um, so you're excited to play at the golf tournament today? Yeah, I am. I haven't hit the clubs in a little while, so um, hopefully we have a caddy or someone that can find my ball in the rough. But uh, it should be fun. It should be a pretty cool event. A lot of cool uh, guys here, athletes, and just a good crowd. So it should be, it should be fun. And I'm headed into my junior year. I was wondering if there was any leadership advice you could give me. You know, I think, uh, you know, just uh, be the leader of the team. Uh, because your teammates, they're going to watch you, every everything that you do on the basketball court. They're going to try uh, to really emulate that. So you lead by example, you know, work hard. And uh, and it's a, all about teamwork, man. That's the most important thing. And, and it was the same thing I did. Uh, you know, my second year, my third year, and I tried to be uh, the leader on the football team, and, and I think it was uh, really helpful to my teammates because, you know, they saw a certain standard, and I came to work every day. You know, I, did, I took it seriously, and, and I always wanted to improve, and I think that's the reason why I had so much success on the football field. Ooh. I know some donors are a little concerned that swing's a little too good. All right? We're going to finish the interviews off today with the 100-yard chipping contest winner, Kerry Keating. Uh, so, Coach, uh, what did you do to prepare for today? I had a great partner. He hit the better shot the second time. My first shot was pretty good. got lucky. I don't play golf enough to be that good, so sometimes in this game you have to be lucky. But uh, a lot of fun out there with a lot of great, fa great fans of uh, – the Broncos and obviously the, the celebrities that we have is a good start to a fun day and good way to start off with a win even though it's uh, not 18 holes it's a shipping contest that could come in handy down the road. During the recruiting process the Santa Clara coaches sent me brochures of the university. I was instantly struck by the beauty of this campus. The excitement quickly turned to the doors that would be open for me as a result of the Santa Clara education. All right, well, if there's an award for most spirit today, it goes out to Khalif Barnes, and you got a pretty small club there, Khalif. Yeah, I got a little junior midget hybrid club here that the guys wanted to give me to, uh, you know, make a little make a little joke about me being big, and yeah, but I smoked it pretty good. You know, I, I didn't I didn't imagine it would take off like that. 